Welcome to Kimmel's Irish Pub. Time for another movie review. Tonight's movie, The Rental. So, Dave Franco's directorial debut. So, that's kind of neat. Um, and it's very vague. Two couples rent a vacation home for what should be a celebratory weekend getaway. That's all we know. But, uh... I think there's some, you know, I think it's uh, it's labeled as uh, like a scary movie, horror or something like that. That doesn't even say here. Anyway, 5.8 on IMDb. The only actor, oh, Alison Breeze did it. Okay. Um, but Jeremy Allen White, you know, from Shameless, uh, he's in it. So uh, here's the thing. It's an hour and 28 minutes long. Normally this is a weeknight movie for me, you know, a nice short one. Not a, a Saturday night. I like a like two-hour movie, but... Couldn't find one that interests me more than this one does, so I'm interested to see what Dave Franco does for us here. So um, I'll get into it a little bit, find out what it's really about, because that synopsis is very vague, without spoiling it for you, and then ultimately I'll let you know if it's worth watching. So stick around. I'll be back. Hey everybody, I want to do a quick check in here. We're watching The Rental. We're at the 48 minute, 37 second mark. Um, so, over halfway through. And uh, not too much has happened. It's a little slow going here. Uh, the, the, we have two couples. And um, <clears throat> it's funny, the the two guys are brothers. Um, and um, the one brother, the, the older brother is married. And the younger brother has a girlfriend. And that's the couples. And the uh, um, girlfriend and the older brother are actually business partners somehow, some way. Um, seems like they're just, you know, and that maybe that's how they met or whatever, but, uh, um, and then there's a little, you know, um, adultery going on as well um, between the, the older brother and the, and the business partner. Anyway, um, so, and they, they take a vacation out to this awesome lake house, and the not the owner, but the caretaker. It's like the owner of the house is the caretaker's brother. Anyway, it's lot, whatever. That that's neither here nor there. The guy who who is responsible for the home, renting it and all that stuff. He's there. He seems to be um, a little racist, and uh, you know a little, um, you know, sketchy. I'd say, right? And that, that's the way they're playing it off as. Um, they're there, kind of having a good time. And the way that they're setting it up is there's something, you know, somebody's watching them or something like that. There's also a door with a pad on it, very small, um, minuscule detail so far, but I think it's a little foreshadowing. We're going to find out what's behind that door at some point. Um, but right now, really nothing else has happened besides what I've just told you. That's the whole thing. Uh, we got the four of them up there, um, two of them doing stuff they shouldn't really be doing. And, uh, but they're all just hanging out at this lake house, and uh, that's it. Uh, right at this point, that guy came over to help fix the hot tub. Um, so, I don't know. We don't know too much more than that, but I'm sure it's going gonna, it's gonna, to um, escalate here soon because there's not much left. But let me get back to it here and see where it goes from here. But now you have a better idea of really what the synopsis is rather than what IMDb was telling you. But I'll have more to share in a little bit, so stick around. I'll be back. Cleaning hey everybody, we're at the credits of The Rental, and I have to say I applaud Dave Franco. I liked it. This is his directorial debut, as far as I'm aware, and I, I think he did a fantastic job because I think the way it's it's done, and I, I always, I never realize who it all comes down to, but I mean, I mean the writers, of course, who, who wrote the movie, um, but then I think the director is the one who gets in your head, I think, right? The story's there. And the producer, I could be wrong too, he's just the guy who, who cuts it all down and makes it all the, makes all the angles kind of work and, and, you know what I mean, and, and puts it back together. I mean, like, um, maybe that's the editor. I don't know. I, I should probably research that. But I'm assuming it was Dave Franco who got in our minds there and played with them a little bit um, throughout this movie. So... Um, definitely better than a 5.8, I think I said. It's a 6. Um, it's a, I'm close to a 7. The part that has me, it's funny, and it's hard to talk to you about this if you haven't seen this, so I'll, I'll, I'll tread lightly, if you will, is, yeah, I told you what was going on. There was no secret there. That's not a spoiler alert, right? And those things lead to certain events, of course, right? 
And in these stressful events, sometimes people have to make decisions, right, on what to do next kind of thing. And it's just silly. You know, what, what in their, when they're faced with a certain situation, decisions that they make. And I'm thinking to myself, like, eh, you know, how, how realistic is that? It's great for movies. Is it real life kind of stuff? And, and that was leading me down the rabbit hole. It's maybe it's not that great of the movie. Um, but then when you go through the whole thing and you realize the, the impact of their decision or the lack of impact in their decision has on the, on the story itself, it's like, hmm, hmm, I see what he did there. David Copperfield there, a little misdirection, if you will, uh, taking your eyes off the ball. I don't know. Um, you know, I think I'm going to feel more comfortable talking about it when we can talk openly. But, and I'm going to do that here, but not yet. So, I enjoyed it. I liked it. Um, it's great. An hour and 28 minutes, I think it was. Well worth the time. Like, it's slow, I think I said. I don't know if I told you that, but it, it's, it's slow in the sense that not a lot going on. It's just development of the four of them and their relationship together. Um, you're not sure what's going to happen. There are small hints of things to come, but then it hits you. You know, in the final 30 minutes, I want to say, maybe. About that. I uh, forget when I checked in, but just right after, actually, yeah, even right after that, you know, it, it heats up the movie, but what's really going on in the film doesn't heat up until the last 20, 30 minutes. And then it's like, ah, and it's, you know. So, I don't, I don't know if it's a slow burn or whatever, but that's really the way it is. So you gotta stick with it um, and watch it throughout the end and then and then give it your thoughts, you know? I encourage you to watch it, um, you know? Uh, it ha it does, and you get the rental, right? What it is, and, and you'll, you'll figure this out when you watch the film. But I will say, now you start thinking to yourself, hmm, would I ever, do I wanna rent anymore? You know, Home Away? or all that kind of stuff really plays with your mind now after you watch this film, so beware. So there you go, that's what I got. I'm six, almost out of seven. Have to, I have to let it um, cook a little bit longer, I think, but uh, it was, I, I'm happy with it. I'm happy that I watched it. At first I wasn't, at, you know, but now I am at the end, so there you go. Now, I wanna talk a little open and freely in a second, so I want, if you have not seen the film yet, go ahead, quickly subscribe to my channel, jam the like button, do whatever you want, you know, all that stuff, and I appreciate you coming in, and check this out. Um, but if you've seen the film already, let's talk a little bit. Real quick, I'll be brief, so so we can be a little bit more open. So I'm gonna give everybody else three seconds, and then it's a spoiler alert, okay? One, two, three, okay. So spoiler alert, spoiler alert, if you haven't seen the film, do not watch this part. Please don't watch this part, I don't wanna ruin it for you. But, and I'm, I'm still going to try and tread lightly, but the, the whole thing about the four of them and the, you know, the relationships that are going on and the cheating and, and all that kind of stuff and, and like them trying to, you know, find the, the footage of the camera um, that caught them cheating on their significant other. And then the, the guy coming in who, you know, who Dave Franco has now convinced us or at least has led us to the fact that he has something to do with what's going on there with these cameras and and all that kind of stuff. He's not he's not who he thinks he or you know he leads you to believe that that's what's going on, right? And you're all thinking all that, and then when you get to the end of all of, all of it, none of that mattered. None of that mattered. That whole build up, that whole thing, it had nothing to do with anything. What was going to happen was going to happen, and it's going to happen again and again and again. But it had nothing to do. They weren't targeted. That guy, the the handyman, you know, was obviously no relation to what was the, to the actual killer. Um, you know, and the whole, you know, he played with it a little bit, made it a little bit more fun with that kind of thing. But you know, just misdirected him. Just misdirected all of us. Dave Franco made you think, okay, what's going on here? Wow. I'm thinking it's the, it's the actual owner of the house. It has to do with this house or something going on. Maybe not. Who could it be? It, it, nothing. This, this is just what the guy does. And and so that's why earlier I was applauding Dave Franco. I, you know, as I even talk about it more, I'm leaning towards a seven. 
I liked it. So, yeah, there you go. So I appreciate you sticking around if you wanted to talk a little openly. And, you know what I mean? Did you catch all that? Really, all, everything else, all the stuff in there didn't matter. But he had you believe it, it all mattered. He had me believing it all mattered. So, awesome. So hopefully you enjoyed it as much as I did. You stayed with me this long, so I appreciate it. If you haven't already, please subscribe to my channel. That would be fantastic. Um, you know, tell all your friends and continue to come back to Kimmel's Irish Pope.